Hello students. Now I discuss how to draw ellipse, how to fill ellipse with different color and different filling algorithms, how to draw partial ellipse, how to draw arc using C programming language. Okay, let's start. Okay. <clears throat> this program demonstrates different ellipse. And the title is Graphics using C Ellipse Draw Full and Partial. Before discuss this program, I like to go output. Okay. There are four ellipse one is full and remaining walls are partial now i discuss how to draw this graphical components as mentions in our early tutorials why use these two header files and the functions of this code block that's mean init graph the graphics driver detect all these are mentions my early tutorials so those who yet not go through these tutorials are suggested to follow those tutorials okay uh, now i only discuss these functions these four lines usually use of the function ellipse it is a c library function using this library function we draw four ellipse first i discuss the first method this library functions needs four arguments or four parameters now what are the functions of those parameters first two parameters that is in our program 150 and 150 it represent the center of this ellipse the third parameter or third argument zero it represents the starting angle the fourth argument 360 it represents the end angle the fifth argument 100 it represents the length of x axis that's mean length of major axis and the 50 the last argument that's mean the sixth argument it represents the length of y axis that's mean minor axis when we asked to draw ellipse it required six information one is center having two uh, points x axis and y axis x coordinate and y coordinate another is start angle another is end angle and the two axis length that means major axis and minor axis if we off now we off this remaining code and run the program again to clear 
how the function works. It generates the full circle. Okay. Now I execute the second ellipse function. It draw a partial ellipse that means the fourth quadrant remain unknown in our ordination system as usual graphic system there are four quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant first quadrant starts from 0 to 90 degree second quadrant starts from 91 and ends with 180 degree third quadrant starts from 181 degree to 270 degree and the fourth quadrant the last quadrant starts with uh, 271 degree to 360 degree being this ellipse this function starts from 0 degree to 270 degree so the fourth quadrant will not be paint that's mean this ellipse covers first second and third quadrant let's see the output again Okay, fourth quadrant remain unpaid. Similarly, these ellipses draw from 0 degree to 180 degree, and these ellipses draw 0 degree to 90 degree. We run those two ellipses simultaneously and verify my explanation okay one generates the first quadrant and another generates first and second quadrant now again we run all four ellipses at a time Okay. Already we learned how to draw ellipse, full ellipse and partial ellipse. Now the next one. This program demonstrates how to draw arc and how to draw sectors these two lines this line draw arc and this statement draw sector before the functions uh, working procedure before mention the sectors working procedure i like to output okay one is sector and another is arc this function draw the arc It has five parameters. First two parameters indicates the center. This parameter 
indicates the start angle this parameter indicates the end angle and the last argument or last parameter indicates the radius of the arc okay if we draw another arc then it will be uh, clear more just we uh, increase the radius to hundred and the end angle to 180 okay and what happened we see the output okay first arc and second arc here it clearly distinguish the two arc function now i mention the sector function it has six arguments as the arc function its working procedure like arc but one thing is different extra parameter is needed in case of arc function only radius is needed but in case of sector functions x radius and y radius x axis length and y axis length or major axis length and minor axis length two lengths are required different is that so the first two parameters stand for center it is zero is start angle 70 is end angle and these two represent major axis and minor axis respectively now we see the output okay it draws the sector to clear we draw another sector changes their start angle end angle major axis and minor axis and their center too Suppose its center is 100 and radius is and y axis y coordinate is 350. Start angle is 60, end angle is 170, radius. Uh, is 180 and minor axis is 150 okay what happened one side is truncated due to in resolution so we changes the value once more 170 60 to 120 and this point from uh, 42 400 to 120 okay 
it draws another sector so being two outputs are appear it clears the functions of the working procedure of sector function so it is library function so gradually it is clear to all how to draw ellipse and how to draw arc how to draw sector okay so as beginning we eliminate the additional code and back to earlier position now we want check the program okay okay now i want to stop the tutorial